Hey, I've been asked if we should make it compulsory that all of your clients take out a care plan or a maintenance package. I want to tell you right now that I don't think you should, and that is just my opinion. If you feel it works for you and your business model or the types of clients that you take on, then you roll with it. But I'm going to explain to you why I don't think it's a great way to work. I care about my clients and I want to give them a little bit of flexibility or freedom to go elsewhere after they work with me. And also, I don't want to be tied to them if we start to have a really bad relationship as we're working together, which rarely happens, by the way. Let me give you three scenarios and then you tell me in the comments with option one, two and three, what would you do in them? So option one is that you go to buy a car from a garage. You know, it's a lovely car, brand new car, and you wanna buy it. You've got the money, you've got the funds, you've got everything sorted out. You're talking to the salesperson, they can see you're excited about the car and they're ready to sell to you. And right before you get to the point now where you now wanna buy the car, you know, and you want them to clean it up before you drive it out, they say to you, you gotta take out some sort of gap insurance or maybe a maintenance care package or a service plan. And they tell you that if you do not take out this special service plan, which means you gotta take your car to them to be serviced, and you say, no. I don't want that service plan. I'm quite happy. I don't need your special maintenance care package. I'm going to put my own fuel in. I'm going to put my own car mats in. I just want to buy the damn car. But they refuse to sell to you. No, you can't have that car. I know you've got the money. I know you've got the funds and whatever. You cannot have that car unless you take out a service care package. What would you do in that situation? Would you get the service care package? Now let's move on to scenario number two. You go to a shop to buy a computer. You know the spec you want. You've already researched and worked out what you need for your graphics, your video editing, whatever you're doing on it. And you go in and you tell them this is what you want and they've got it. They've got the exact machine that you need and you're ready to buy it. And they go, ha, but you need to take out a care plan, a package, something that helps you in case you get any like malware or viruses or any tech issues, or maybe you get home and you just don't know how to turn it on. What do I do here? You, you, they give you a phone number you can call because obviously they think you can't access the internet on your phone to find out the answer, but they want you to take out a care package and you say, no, I don't need that care package. I'm going to take the computer and if the computer gets home and it doesn't work as soon as I get home, I should be allowed to come back and return it and speak to you about it. But if a week or two goes down the line or a year and then it starts to pack up, that's on me. I go and download something that causes a problem. That's on me, on my head be it. I did not want to take it. What would you do in that situation? Would you pay for the care package or the plan? Just because they will not sell you the computer. You can pop the money on the desk in front of everyone and stand on the table and scream and shout. They are not taking that money until you take out the package. Now let's go to scenario number three. You need a website, you find a designer, a developer, an agency, a freelancer, whoever they are. And they agree to work on your website. You work out your prices, you work out the spec, what you're gonna do, the branding, all of that. They're on your wavelength, the same page. And then they let you know about the care package or the monthly maintenance plan and how it's gonna help you out and protect you. Updates, backups, all of that. Monthly maintenance of the website, you know, minor revisions. All of this is all covered inside of there. They class it as essential. You don't see it as essential because you don't want it because of the price or for whatever reason, maybe you don't fully understand it, even after they've explained it to you and you're like, no, I don't want it, okay? I don't want that care package, but they refuse to build your website if you do not take on the care package. So what would you do in that situation? Would you pay for the care package to have the website built? Or would you just say, look, tell me what I definitely need to get that website online, domain, hosting, the website. Obviously, there might be licenses. There might be a bit of e-commerce in here or there. There might be a few plugins. You know, there might be some extra stuff to do with SEO. They're all the essentials I need to have to hit the ground running. But do I need that care maintenance monthly package also, because I'll tell you where I would come from in these scenarios. The first one with the car, I'd go elsewhere. I would literally tell them, nope, not interested. The computer one, I would walk out, not interested. I'd go and get it from somewhere else. And after I've put in a few complaints as well. The third one, 
I can tell you as a web agency or when I'm designing clients or when I'm working with anyone out there, there is no obligation for them to take out a monthly care package. I will state it as a desirable on the proposal. I will tell them the benefits of it. I will tell them the risks that come with it. I will tell them about a few stories where I've worked with people where they suffer the problem and then I had to go in and fix it. And in the end, it meant I had to completely rebuild the website, big cost, or I had to spend some time fixing their problem. There's a cost attached to that. It would have worked out cheaper if you had a monthly plan, but it is desirable. No obligation. I don't want them to feel guilty. I don't want to emotionally blackmail and get into their head and go, I'm the only person that can do what you need. But you ain't getting it if you don't take out a care plan. Because that, for me, is just like the car salesperson who won't sell you the car, or the computer shop who won't sell you the computer, or the gear, or the tech, or the camera, or whatever else you want. In answer to the question that I have been asked a lot recently, do you always enforce or make sure your clients take out a care plan? I suggest it. I don't force it. And someone did mention to me the other day, yeah, but Apple do. No, they don't. When you go to buy an Apple product, they suggest it but you are entitled to not take it. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'm looking forward to your comments. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, live the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.